Like, tell me about when you first met her. Yeah, so the way that we first met was um, I used to go out to the Hamptons for the weekend. We would um, go for different magazine parties. We would we were assistants or coordinators, and I was one day scheduled to help at a brunch um, at our CEO's house, and um, my marketing coordinator um, was like, can you do this? You're going to help um, a chef who's there. Uh, you're going to be her sous chef and kind of help her organize because we trust you to be at the CEO's house. And um, so are you cool with that? And I was like, I guess, like, I don't, sure. I'll, I would do whatever. That was how I was. So I showed up in the morning, probably 9 a.m. I probably was out the night before, but I walk in and Bethany's there. And I'd never, I didn't know who she was. So we introduced to one another and she had me immediately jump in to help her cook. I was julianning basil. I was putting together caprese salads. And these were things a girl from Pittsburgh, my mom taught me how to cook, but these were like these other things. I wasn't Italian. So these, she was teaching me how to do these things. And it was I was loving it and we were really getting along and I have had a really good attitude. And she told me a little bit about her plan to be a, um, a celebrity chef and what she was up to. And I said, I just could feel her energy. And I said, one day you're going to be famous. And she said, well, I'll hire you and you can work for me when that day comes. So I left that brunch and her and I stayed in touch and I would do like odd things for her. And then she called me about mm, a year later, I think. And she said, are you ready to come work for me? And I, David, I said, I just got a huge promotion. Like, I don't think I'm ready yet. And I, she said, it's okay. Like, keep in touch. You got to go with your gut. And um, so then I, you know, kept working at my other job and she hired another assistant and it was right when social media was just starting. And now this girl, Molly is, is my friend. So I can say this, but I like stalked her. Cause I was like, did I make the right decision? Oh my goodness. Like, have I, have, have am I ever going to be able to work with her again? Because I think this is a really good opportunity for me to learn. And so then about a year later after that, I called her and I said, please hire me. I'm ready to leave. I'm ready to leave. There's nothing else for me here. I want to come help you build your business. And she said, okay, I'll call you back. Let me like figure this out. And I was like, you know, on the edge of my seat for like a week and I called her back and, or she called me back and she was like, let's do this. So I gave my two weeks and then I jumped right into being one of two assistants working for her, you know, at the end of her Real Housewives stint the first time around. And then the beginning of I was there when she started pitching her her new show and Bravo came to her. When you first went out to the Hamptons, when they were just like, you know, do this, here's like an extra thing. Like, did you know you were going out to be a chef? Like, it doesn't sound like you had really any chef skills. No, I had zero skills. No, I was going out there and just doing bitch work. Like on Friday night, I'm sure that we had to like work the door at some party. And then we all probably like slept in one hotel room, like so like not how it is now. Like they were like, here's one hotel room. You can all stay in there. Right. And then, um, yeah. And then I woke up and went, no. So I had no idea what I was getting into, not in a good or a bad way. I just was like, here, I'm here to help. How can I help? And obviously I could picture Bethany frantically running around and not even saying like, do you have any experience? Do you know how to cook? Just because I mean, if you said these things to me, like add that to the caprese salad, I would be like, I don't even know what to do. She was very patient with me and just knew that I had a good attitude. That's always how she, that's how she is. She doesn't really care about people's qualifications to be quite honest. And they just, you, something about that first brunch. You I just, knew she would be famous. There was just did. something about her. Mm-hmm. I did. I knew that she would do all of the things that she's done. 